This video is to show you the process of how to upload your ID card photo from your device into the GetFunds website. First step you'll want to do is to open up your App Store system and download a photo compression app. On the Android operating system, this app will come up on the first result when you type in Photo Compress. It is a free app so there is no cost with it. Once it's installed you need to open this app. When you open it, it's going to ask you to upload a photo. You can either choose one from your gallery or you can take one using your camera. I already have one saved on this device so I'm going to choose from my gallery. You need to ensure that the photo that you pick is in line with the university regulations. As you can see though, this one's 828 kilobytes. It's still too large of a file to upload into the ID card system. The first thing you want to do is to crop this image. Cropping ensures that you show only the top of your hairline to the bottom of your chin and that the photo is in line with the university regulations. As you can see, this lowered the size of the photo down to 75 kilobytes. Still too big to get into our system, however. Then you'll want to compress the image. When you compress the image, it takes and makes it a smaller size. I usually start by dragging the compression up to about 60. It may take a process of guessing and checking to make sure that you get the right number, but 60 is a good place to start. And as you can see, it's right at 30 kilobytes just about, so this will work for our system. Once the photo has been properly resized and compressed, you can come to your web browser. When you open your web browser, you'll want to go to the UWL homepage. And using this drop down menu, go to the Tower One website. When you're at the Tower One website, you'll want to click the Get Funds link. From the Get Funds site, you need to log in using the information that you provide. Before logging in, though, you need to register. And on the registration page, you need to provide the university ID number, your birth date, your name, university email address, and a phone number. Once you've got all that information, a confirmation email will be generated. I've already done this process, so I'm going to log in using the email that I signed up with originally. Once you've logged into the website after having your account confirmed, this is the screen you'll be brought to. You'll want to come over to the right hand side and click the Upload ID Photo link. From here, you're going to be prompted to upload your ID card photo. You click Choose File and bring your photo up from wherever it is stored on your camera. I'm going back into my gallery and I'm selecting my photo, the one that we just compressed to use for the ID card picture. Now that I've selected the proper photo, I click Upload. and the photo is uploaded into the ID card system for approval. This is how you go about entering your photo into the ID card system